Hey guys, quick video for you this week. Uh, I'm just going to show you how to set up your Pioneer DJ decks. So the DJ decks I've got are the DJ DDJ SX2. Uh, this is really straightforward. You, most of you probably won't even need a video for this, but just in case you're wondering how to set them up and how to connect it to Serato DJ, I'll show you how to do it. Okay, so the first things first, let me just bring this up here so you can see. Okay, so we've got power support, uh, sorry, power port there, so that's where you'll put the power in. This is the USB, so you'll have a, ca a cable given to you with the DJ decks. Uh, one end will be a USB, the other end will look a bit like that, so you can see it here. Like this. That goes in there and then connects to your computer. As you come along, you've got a mic port there, so if you were to connect your mic to the DJ decks, you do it with an XLR cable, which is like, oh, the other end has got three. Um, so an XLR cable, one looks like this, the other end looks like this, I'll show you quickly. The other end looks like that, and you would stick, you can connect this kind of cable to a mic port, and then this is the end that you'd put into that slot I just showed you a second ago. Let's just put that back in there. Okay, so, you would connect your mic Port. The one I just showed you with the three ports would go in there. Um, you come further along, you can see this is the section where you connect your speakers. Again, I use XLR cables, so I connect the right speaker there, the left speaker there, and then you can just connect the speakers that way. If you've got a subwoofer, um, you will often have to do this. You'll have to take, say, if you've got, you'll have to connect the subwoofer to either the right or left speaker. And what will happen is the cable will go from the DJ decks into the subwoofer, then out of the subwoofer into the speakers. Okay, so it'll, you'll do that on the right or the left. So either out of the right into the subwoofer into the right speaker, or out of the left into the subwoofer into the left speaker. You can also use different connections. I think that's called phono you can use. I would suggest XLR, because it's just better, chunkier, better quality. Um, and the other thing I wanted to mention as well is if you wanted to connect your iPhone uh, or CD player or something like that to the DJ deck, you can you connect it here, but you need this cable, um, this one here. Okay, so what you'll find is it has two cables at this end. I've actually forgotten what this cable is called, but you'll be able to find it easy enough. And it's got an aux cable at the other end. So you would just literally grab these and stick them in there, like this, so white one goes in there, red one goes in there. Uh, the other end would then connect to an iPhone or to your laptop. Um, and then what happens is, as you'll see in my video, your first 10 minutes on DJ Dax, this connects this side, this connects this side, and this one will do the controls for your aux cable. Now remember, you're not going to be able to change tracks if you're playing something on Spotify on here. But what you can do is you can still cut mid, lows, highs, you can filter, you can do volume, you can do that kind of stuff. The top tip for you is if you are connecting aux cables here, make sure you've got it on the right setting down here, okay? So as you can see, we've put this in one called CD, okay? So what you'll do is come on this end, and you'll make sure that this, uh, so here, this is on CD. So there'll be one in the middle, PC, PC mic CD. You've got to make sure that's led all the way across the CD there for it to work. Okay, so let's just actually do this. So um, you've got your power cable here, which is obviously plugged into a plug that goes into. Here. Yeah, that's that there. Oh, wait, I've got the wrong one. And it was right. Yes, yeah, so that goes in there. As soon as you've done it, the power will come on and you'll see everything light up and start flashing. If it doesn't, it might mean that you haven't turned it on, which is this button here. I'm kind of going upside down here, but you can see it says on. You click it on like that and you'll see it light up. Okay, so that's on. 
Um, the next thing you'll do is connect the speakers. So I've just got one, I'm not gonna connect both for time, so you just stick that in there like this. Oh, it's hard to do it with one hand. There we go. Cool, so that speaker in, you do one for the right, one for the left. Uh, USB here, so this is the one end. It goes into that plug down there. Um, and the other USB end then goes into the computer. Now this is the only other thing I wanted to mention here, okay? If you have Serato open, it will only show one track. As soon as you connect this, and everything's turned on, it will automatically go to two tracks. So let's see if this works now. So that clicks in there like that. And it should register that there's DJ Dex in it. And there we go, it goes to two tracks. And at that point, that's pretty much everything, guys. Oh, the only other thing I wanted to mention is, obviously you're gonna wanna connect headphones so you can queue up tracks properly. And you wanna get this. An aux cable or you can get one of the ones with the bigger aux cables and this goes in the front here so that hole there is obviously for the bigger aux cable and then this one here is for the smaller one so you plug that in um, and that's everything so you've got mic you, and that's all you have to do power connected to the computer connected to the speakers plug your headphones in and you're good to go and then you can literally drag songs in and you're ready to go Everything's ready to go. Yeah, cool. Okay, hope that helped. Uh, now you've set up your decks and you know everything's working. Uh, if you have no idea how to use this here, check out my video, your first 10 minutes on DJ decks. Um, I'll put a link under this video and I'll put a link on the screen as well. Um, and uh, if you really want to know how to become better at DJing and you want to learn more, I've got a full course called beginnerdjlessons.com. If you go there, you can download my full DJ course and you can learn everything you need to know from not having a clue what any of this stuff does, right up to advanced mixing techniques, perfect beat matching, and everything. If you're interested, come and check it out. Um, and it teaches you everything you're going to need to know about DJing to go and do a full DJ uh, session somewhere in a club or at a wedding or anything or in, at your friend's house. So come and check it out.